Okay. You guys ready now? All right. We're gonna bring them on just now. Soul Kitchen International Radio. Reason with my friends. My friend today is Spraga Benz. See how that rhymes nice? Spraga, big up yourself today. Hello. Yes, I'm here. All right, all right. How was your day today so far? So far, it's kind of hectic, you know. Get on the move. Well, it's yeah. always good to be busy than to be bored, right? Yeah, better. Always, always. All right, all right. Always. Well, we have just been enjoying going through your catalog, your classics, all the way up to the brand new album. How exciting is this? Oh man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Right. It's a little difficult to hear you. I'm not sure uh, how your phone is set up right now, but uh, we're getting a lot of kind of different noises. Okay, give me one minute. No problem. All right. Sorry about that. No problem. You're worth the wait. We're good. <laughs> Yeah. Much better, much better. All right, fantastic. So, something we love to ask people, and we like to, you know, understand that there's somebody in the world that maybe hasn't come across an artist that we think everybody has known, right? So, for those people around the world that maybe haven't gotten to experience Braga Benz, um, why don't you explain basically where you come from and how how this career started out for you? Well, I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston, Kingston, and the whole, the whole thing started from my involvement with a town called Laben. Went from my particular and a town called Laben. You know, just fooling around with the town, mixing, making mistakes, something like that. That's it. You know, push the age of the new Well, still, we're still getting, we're still getting a lot of banging around or something. Yeah, sorry about that. Some people in the Okay, yeah. okay, no problem. All right, so Kingston, Jamaica. Now, how did you, how did you go from being, you know, a regular kid running around playing football to all of a sudden you want to? get involved with music, what drew you to it? That's what I'm saying, um, Laben Town, Virgin, the Mickey Villa, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they had the town, so I was always mm -hmm. making mixtapes and stuff like that. And just from being around the town, that's what mm -hmm. pulled me in, into the music itself. Yeah. Okay. You sound, you sound busy, you sound busy, busy. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, right? All right. I'll make it work. Yes, yeah. sir, absolutely, absolutely. So when you got started in your career, right, you got going, yeah. what was the moment that kind of let you knew that you did the right thing, like you got that kind of forward from people that, hey, man, this could be a career? Well, all of that came about when I did a, a job place. For a song called Laben, the same song I'm telling you about, Ricky Villa. Mm -hmm. And from there, in Duane Park, the, the dog the dog plate got really popular. So from the popularity of the dog plate that, that, that brought me to the, the studio to actually record, right. record the song. And from there, from, from, actually from the first song, you know, things just started picking up and was no stopping from that, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. And like, yeah. The yeah, it's funny. It's funny where something like a dub plate, or or just something that maybe wasn't intended to be the big move, ends up being just yeah. that, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. So how did how do we go from you getting into music, and then all of a sudden you got called into do this absolute, almost 
uh, iconic movie, Shutters. How did you how did you get pulled into that? Well, that was they, they, my, I was already doing music and everything was good. Mm -hmm. And they called me up and told me that they had a script that they wanted yeah, me to, to look over to see if I was interested in doing it. And yeah, uh, I read the script and it was, uh, I, it was interesting. So I just say, let's try it. Give it a shot. Well, yeah. your, the things that you give a shot seems to be some of the iconic staples in reggae history, you know? And that's a beautiful thing because. Even to yeah. today, you see Teddy Brockshot, you know, rest in peace and everything. He he was still yeah. known for his role in that movie. So that movie yeah. kind of like really, really meant something to a lot of people. You know what I mean? So it, yeah. it was beautiful that you got to be a part of that. Now, coming through, yeah. coming through history up to date now, this album, what's the, what's your premise for this album? Like what, what, what was your mindset when putting this together? I would say the making theme. A, the theme. Making, making, making an album that represented my role, my role presence in the music. Mm. And, you know, represented where I'm coming from. So it, it, it have a whole school flavor to it. It's got a hard, hard core, dark, dark flavor, but it's still um, clean enough that they can play it in your house like grandmother. That's what I like to hear. And, yeah, yeah. I really kid that I wonder why they won't be with it. That's no, that's that's good yeah. too because nowadays you're you're competing with so much of this dance hall that really love the opposite of that. You know, yeah. you can't play it near your family. Yeah. I do do some are too explicit. Right. So and so this one comes from the beautiful Chave. Alright. Now before I'm going to ask the question, but before you answer, I'm going to give you a, a part two to this, that the insight. So she says, who would you love to collaborate with that maybe you haven't had the opportunity to yet? Now, the secret behind this that I, I just read into is her father is Admiral Tibet. So <laughs> we'll have to just put him on the list automatically. <laughs> We're in a collaboration with somebody with the caliber as I said. You know, it's a big thing to my career right there. Absolutely. Yeah. But um I, I don't wanna work with like like I had this weird like a major like you know, so so much so much music come from our way, inspirational to me and to a lot of people as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's gonna be a, a a nice place. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I know you're busy, so I'm not going to hold you up forever here, but I definitely want to give you some of the, the, the more fun things we like to talk about while we're here. Yeah. One of those things, since you're in the kitchen right now, we want to know, what is your favorite meal, and do you yourself cook it up? Okay. Yeah. No, I don't cook. Okay, all right. No, I, I don't cook. Fair I'm enough. Meal, um, any kind of... I like seafood. I like seafood. Okay. Can't go yeah. wrong with seafood. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like just fish too, not, not, not crab and shell food and all that thing. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I know all them claws kind of freak me out too. <laughs> yeah. Something different yeah, about. You are you are you are you are you are alien you are fish. Like that, yeah. <laughs> I'm a good like that. Nice. Can't get enough of parrot fish. That's me. But, all right, so now my personal question that I love to ask this, and you are probably one of the best people to answer this question. So, if I was to give you a magic wish, and you could change one thing in the business that you have learned along the way, but there's something you wish you could change, what would that be? That the artists are more compensated for the work. I'm it. Okay. Yeah. Like for the performances or just in what manner? In whatever manner they work, whether it be a musician or just be a drum. You know, everybody who, who work in a, in, a, in a big industry, I would have wanted to be properly compensated. I agree. Compensated for, yeah. I agree, definitely. A lot of people 
it's something that we talk about on the show sometimes and you might play a Sprague of Ben song, yeah, you might down you might download it for a dollar yeah, or two, right? Yeah. And the people they might they might listen to it for three minutes, cost them a dollar to download, but they don't understand the length of time, the work, and the money that you put into making that song happen. Yeah, it's a lot goes into a song, you know, mixing and mastering and a whole bunch of things. Yeah, often it's thousands and thousands of dollars. So people have to understand that the artists aren't being greedy. They're just trying to like pay the bills that they've already advanced towards giving you the good music. Yeah, it's real because, you know, if you make an album, it, it kind of, it costs you, but it's what we love to do. Right. So it's an investment in ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So, we yeah, have... We don't really, really mind, and, it's, and, and, and then, to a lot of artists, even like myself, music, I, I like my hobby as well. So I appreciate it if my fans can download it and support it. Because it's a job as well, but then if them just get the music and just love listening to the music. I'm kind of cool with that too. Yeah, as long as I want, you know, give some feedback. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. I'm telling you right now, we have we opened a station on Spragabans and we've never stopped playing it. And I don't know a station that would stop because you are definitely a staple in the career of reggae, you know, and we appreciate you sticking with it. Yeah. So the next... My pleasure, man. Love it. Love it. Our next question comes on behalf of our sponsor, Lady Ruth Luxury Homes. All yeah. right. Big up, Lady Ruth. Big yeah. up, Lady Ruth. Big up, Lady Ruth. Yeah, man. She's so wonderful. So wonderful. Um, she wants to know, if yeah. a young Sprague of Benz is coming into the business, just, just a young guy now, and he looks up to you for some advice, what's the advice that you'd learn that you would pass on to him? To pay attention to business affairs and not just the music and the fun of it. Ah. But pay attention to it, to it the business. Learn as much as you can about the business side of it. And also, all the, all the encouraging to to practice with an instrument. Mm. If you don't know music and keys and notes and all them things, they are advising you. You know, practice with that. Oh, I like that. If I remember them things, then you know, it's supposed to be safe. Fantastic, fantastic. And it is something too, to learn an instrument, it really changes your, your, your look at music. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. So what do we have? What do we have coming up? What is now that you've just done this huge project? Do you have something in, in the in the bucket list in the next five to ten years that you'd like to accomplish that you haven't yet? Just to continue making more music uh, and probably push it to some goal and try to them up. Yeah. That's we, the plan. We have we have somebody we have somebody in Germany right now. They want to know: Have you thought about doing more acting? Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good to come about. Yeah, but not just to do it. Just to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, I would personally yeah. love to see that. I would personally love to see that. Now we're going to get back into your music. Is there anything you'd like to say or tell the people before we go? Well, I appreciate all of us to support Canada. I think one of the kids that have been coming from the beginning of my career. Probably our first kid, first guy that joined Jamaica when we traveled to the top So, you know? No, just take to the support and get from Canada and keep it up, yeah? More or less. Absolutely. And we got you anytime. When you come up to Canada, as soon as all this COVID business is over, we would love to have you live yeah. in studio. We'd love to do this again. Yeah, man. For real. All live right. and direct and, 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 you know, more official. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to let you get back to your busy day. We really, really appreciate your time. And have a, have a safe and blessed day. All right, brother. All right. Bless up. Yes.